Okay, it's recording. Hey guys, welcome back to Dell DIYs. So today I'm going to show you the best ways to use your iPad Pro for online school. Don't forget to subscribe and without further ado, let's get into it. This is the 11 inch 2020 iPad Pro and before this I had the 12.9 inch iPad Pro that was a couple years old which I traded in and got $250 for and the reason why I opted for the smaller size is because I'm going to be using primarily for school and taking notes and this is just such a more compact and easy size to not only look at but it also feels more like a notebook and it also has these straight edges so you don't have to worry about it like sliding around on your desk or wherever you're taking notes on. And some accessories that I got is this generation 2 Apple Pen Pencil, and this is really nice because it magnetically connects to your iPad, which is actually a really great feature of my old Apple Pencil. I would always lose it whenever I wanted to use it. It would be, I'd have to go searching for it, which is so annoying. And then I also got the Smart Folio case, which magnetically connects, and no, it has not fallen off at all in my personal experience. And then there's this, which can fold into a stand, and your iPad can just kind of stand there. I'm sure for anybody who either has an iPad or is thinking of getting one, the main reason why you're thinking of getting it is probably so you can take digital notes. I've noticed that a lot of my teachers want me to be taking handwritten notes because it's supposed to help your brain process information better. So I've been keeping a lot of notebooks, but it's honestly kind of annoying to have to be switching through a bunch of different notebooks. And then if I write too big, then I need to go back and erase everything. So I just thought that having a digital notebook would be a lot better, especially since with online school, everything is digital and there aren't really any paper things you need to do. Okay, so now let's go through how I've organized my iPad. On the first screen, I have all the apps that come pre-downloaded and just the basic utility apps mostly. And then if I swipe to the right, my widgets will come up. And here I have my calendar, the weather, some music, the battery percentages, and other widgets that I just haven't really customized. Moving on to the second page, this is where I keep all my school apps. For instance, here's Google Docs. I really like using this on my iPad because you can do pretty much all the same things that you can do on your computer, but it's bigger than your phone, so it's a lot easier to use. Moving on, we have Google Slides, which again is just like Google Docs, so you can do pretty much all the same things. And Google Drive has everything as well. And here I have Google Calendar, and I really just like being able to swipe through and see all my assignments for the week. And next I have Google Keep, and this is a really cool app. It's like a to-do list almost. And for each class, I have a different section, and I can just go through and write down any assignments I have and then check them off when I've completed. Now just quickly going over the rest of the apps, Google Translate, and you're able to handwrite something and then have it convert to text. Next up, here's Quizlet. I really love this app for studying. There's so many great features that really just help you learn the material. The first one is learn, and then there's also flashcards, which is just really quick and easy way to review stuff. There's also a write feature, which is really great for active recall, and a match feature, which is just a fun way to study because it's kind of like a game. And lastly, the test feature, which I just think is a really good way to summarize the material and practice taking the test. The next app, Remind, only some of my teachers use, and it's just a really quick way for them to send us reminders, and then the app for my school, which I only use sometimes, and then there's Zoom, Desmos for math, and OneNote, which is what I was using previously, and this is a really good option if you don't want to have to pay for a note-taking system because it has a lot of the same features, like a bunch of different pen options, you can import images, move them around, a bunch of different paper options, you can also break it into sections and it will automatically create a table of contents, but it did not have a write-to-text feature, so that was kind of a deal-breaker for me, so I ended up with GoodNotes 5, where you can customize your notebook, change the cover, the page color, the page type, and you just have a lot more customizable options in general, and this is a one-time payment of $7.99. But this is a really good app, and it's overall just allowed me to take really good notes, and I just like the organization option. There is an outline feature where you can just see a table of contents, basically, and then a thumbnails where you see a preview of every page, and you can also import images from when you had a physical notebook. It's really easy to just scan them, and then if you want to highlight the page, it will make the text on the page darker, and you also have a lot of different pen options and you can make really specific shapes very easily by just simply holding it down. You can also import images, as I mentioned, for if you used to have a physical notebook and you want to bring some of those notes over. You also have the option to write something and then have it convert to text. And you can search 
keywords and it will bring you to the page that has those words on them. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to give it a like and comment down below. Also, hit that big red subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. See you guys next week. Bye guys. Mwah.